let me ask, why is it that you've rattled? So why are you here? So they showed me, it basically looked like you were a huge angel is the best way I could describe it. It was like a huge, huge angel. And I was like, where did you start incarnating then? Was it this cosmos? Was it other cosmos? You have been to other cosmos before. This is in the Omniverse. So you've been into many. Technically what you do when I ask, well, what is, what is it that you do when you want to see these other cosmos? It looked like if I could deduce it down to something, it's almost like you're an umbilical cord from the void into a given realm. So you can drop into the void. The void, if you can imagine, is um, it's, it's void, right? So you're just one with everything. Um, there's infinite knowing there. There's everything outside of you literally going back to source, meaning you're done with your incarnations. This is what the void does. So if somebody wants to, say, take a break from incarnating, um, but they want to live vicariously through other experiences, they can drop into the void. They don't have to do anything. They can just exist and take a break. What you act as, which I've never seen this before. So you're the, the first one that I've seen that does this, which is you are like the connection between the void and any place that you go into, which is why the yin and yang is so important to use as a symbol because you have to have both. So you've been into other cosmos, but why did you come into this one? So why did you start incarnating in this one that we're in right now? So they're saying that you incarnated into our local cosmos because we had the polarity of extremes here. So again, if you go in, you're the connection between the ethers, between the void. So another unique thing about your journey is that you went into all of the 11 layered realms. Oh, and this oh. is not, it's not common to go into all the 11 layers. What most <laughs> people do if they incarnate at all in these layered realms is they maybe go to like three or four at the oh, most. Wow. Um, but you went into all 11. So to give you an idea of kind of what they are, the, the top four layered realms are um, like one, two, like one and two, especially that's more of like, Enlightenment, that's Christ consciousness, is these top two. I used to think that people rarely incarnated if they were in those top two. Because I was like, wow, you're you're a highly enlightened being, you know? <laughs> but if we think about it, Jesus wasn't the only one who who reached that, you know? So I was like, well, people can incarnate if they want. It's just about what, whatever it is that your soul wants to do. So when I asked, well, why did you go into all of them? It's almost like you have to plug in, if you can imagine, literally plugging in to the void in each one. Because you went into all the 11 layered realms. One thing that's unique about people that go into all 11 I can't even remember the last person I had that went into all 11. Like that's, it's not common at all. Not necessarily seeing you incarnating, but like if you're like the technician to like hook up, you know, the plumbing pipe, to, <laughs> that's, that's really what you do. They're saying that you did actually go into all the universes because again, all the universes, not common for people to go into all 12. It's all tied to whatever your fractal is. They're calling you an or of them. Typically it's higher than an archangel because you do work on a cosmic level. An archangel does their work on a universal level within the multiverse. For you to be an or of them, would mean that you are familiar with all of them. You know, like you're there when I asked, why is it that you went into all 12? You got to do the same thing in all 12 as you did in the layered realms, which is connect to void. Oh. Why did you decide to incarnate here? You know, like why, why are you here? <laughs> mm. And um, they said that you're incarnate here during this flux time um, to help plug in the two timelines. There's an aspect of compassion that cannot be taught unless you've experienced it. For you to do this work, you have to come to a point of being um, unbiased of looking at light and dark. You, you, like you get to a, a point of neutrality once you've been through a lot. You experience the extremes in this life. There's an aspect of compassion that cannot be taught unless you've experienced it. So, so for you, especially for you to actually plug in, so to speak, the inorganic timeline means that you are looking at it almost as though they are your children. I would rephrase it and say that you're helping both timelines met a woman that put poison in my drink and i'm just curious if you're capable of asking them what she put in my drink do you, so saying it was a high level dosage of arsenic and i'm like doesn't that kill you though yeah so, so she tried to kill me archangel michael came in and i felt my crown chakra. well i don't i'm assuming it was michael but my crown yeah. chakra was just buzzing like crazy when she gave it to me so i know i was saved by the angels again ask uh, so why does she do that to you? i'm hearing that you've always been a threat to the controllers on the inorganic timeline you've been suicidal before yeah, I attempted to commit suicide in 2014, and that's when Archangel Michael appeared, and I started having all these crazy visitations. Who came in to help you? So this is pretty interesting, because um, when I asked who, because uh, you asked, was it Jesus or was it Michael? On a much higher level, all of these Ascended Master types are, are all the same. They're all one being. So well, was it Jesus or was it Michael that came in? They're like, well, they're, they're one. But how they present to the person is based on their belief system at the time. I asked, all right, well, then who did you see? And they're saying, technically, you would have perceived a bright being of light as being Michael in that moment in time. And when I asked... Yeah. Well, who, why was she trying to kill you? Or what was she doing? Um, they're saying that her poisoning you, technically it was, it, it's kind of like a test to see like who, who are you protected by or who, who are you connected to? Because if you were not this connected to these higher level beings, to this oneness, 
And yes, you would have died, to be honest, in that moment. I came to a fork in the road, and the place I was looking for was, was a waterfall that was to the right. And two people walked by me right away, and I said, do you guys know where the falls are? And they're like, yeah, you go this way. They pointed me in the wrong direction, and I went down there, and that's when I met this woman. Were those, like, real people? So those two people, um, I'm getting, are not necessarily real in a 3D sense. They feel like they were, um, they were spirits. They feel like they were dead people. Like, they died. Was it a, a, a young what? woman and young male? Were they yeah. 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 Could you tell by what they were wearing? Did they look like they, if you were to really think about how they were dressed, oh, do you they, feel like, they feel like they were, they died in the 70s? Yeah. They were wearing like a windbreaker that kind of looked old fashioned, like probably from the 70s or something. Yeah, Did they know. spiritually influence these dead people to tell me to go the wrong way? Is that what okay. happened? Yeah. So let me ask. So why were they kind of working for her? And yeah. it's like, she keeps them in a loop um, of constantly walking down this road. So the, that couple was murdered. So it's almost like they're, they're walking their, whatever path they were on, on that split road. It's like, they're just constantly reliving it. They, I don't feel like they understand that they died. Um, Asking them this, I had a question. I had a experience where I woke up and my lower back was absolutely debilitated. And I got the sense that this was around a full moon and people had gathered and had done something. And I was just like, yeah, I don't fucking think so. And eventually went away. But can you ask them? They, they said that they were misguided. The group of people that sent out this type of energy. Yeah, that um, woman spread a bunch of lies. She's just misguided. And she influences other people to do the same. Because everybody wants to blame somebody for this crap that we're in, right? My spirit team, actually, uh, probably a month or two ago, I need you to sit down for this one. And they're like, you know that woman you've been working with, with Akashic Records and getting healings with for over 10 years? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, she spent death spells to you that ended up having her own son killed. And I'm just curious if you could elaborate oh, on that. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I'm hearing, well, it is true. Um, and I'm also hearing like, well, why? Why, would you, why do that? Misguided, thinking that verbatim, they said, um, thinking that you are responsible for anarchy within this realm. But why so disingenuous as 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 somebody who taps into this field to mm -hmm. bamboozle someone like that just can you ask yeah, what group was doing that too sure um it's do you know of any group that kind of refers to themselves whether um explicitly or amongst each other as like angels of light it feels like female, <laughs> you know it feels like female energy too they uh <laughs> they sent this um it does kind of look like a man it, it's an energy right it's it's almost so you're whatever kind of energy spirit form you want to call it to the point of them sending it to you is to stir up your demons is what i was hearing so that you can, um, and however way you could self-sabotage, yeah. you could either go psychotic, you might be suicidal, it's to stir this up. But what's funny is it was sent to you. And when I see it coming to you, because you also exist in these other dimensional planes as well, um, but unconscious to you, what it looks like when it came to you, you took on your form, which is how I saw you when you fractal. Like a big ass dark angel that just like you're massive. <laughs> and so when it came to you in this dimensional plane, you're just like, really? I feel, it, it's like, it's like a chihuahua trying to attack you. You're like, really? <laughs> really? Do I need to, do I really need to stand up? <laughs> and then once you did, it was just like, oh shit, I didn't know that's what you were kind of a thing. <laughs> looks like what you're doing is instead of fighting fire with fire, you're with your angel wings that are massive. It looks like you go like this and you're like, give me a hug. Come into the hug. <laughs> like, what are you doing? So I have helicopters doing donuts over my house. Or is this like some kind <laughs> of um, like uh, men in black doing some kind of frequency thing on me? Yeah. But where are these helicopters? Why are they? Do they follow you or is it only in your home? To go, I had a black helicopter follow me down the highway. I've had uh, three men in black cars appear right beside me with guys with headsets and black suits that just appeared out of nowhere. And I have free energy devices flying over my house and helicopters doing donuts. Well, I'm hearing verbatim that they're afraid that you'll tap into your creative powers, but then it's a corporation is what it is. It's more so, I don't get that it's government. It feels more like a type of corporation. Um, I get the sense it's not so much like to stop you, it's to investigate. It feels oh, very- Thank you for everything once again. Yeah, absolutely.